I do truly think that the creators, engineers, designers of this Nomad Grill are true barbecue heads and love to grill and smoke meats as much as I do. Kind of thought of everything with this little grill. So the Nomad truly is premium quality built and portable. And also packs 425 inches of grilling space with the optional grade installed. This one came with one. I'm gonna go ahead and place an order for my second one. So then it'll be truly 425 square inches that I can use whenever I'm grilling steaks or burgers or whatever. And it only weighs 28 pounds. So that to me makes it really portable. The Nomad's made out of cast aluminum and the two cook boxes have multi-directional heat sink fins, which really helps a lot with airflow. That really helps a lot with nice, even cooking temperatures. And this really nice anodized finish gives it a really cool, but tough look at the same time. For the appearance and the suitcase design, adds a really wow factor in my opinion. And it also comes equipped with a Tell True bimetal thermometer. Anybody that's been cooking for any amount of time knows that Tell True Thermometers are top of the line and first in class as far as cooking thermometer and equipment goes. And let me open it up again and just show you guys the gray. It's super lightweight, all stainless steel. Something really genius that the designers did. They have magnets that hold it in place for rattle-free traveling. It's also domed for extra strength and you can also flip it around and cook the other way if you want to have something that stays in the middle. And when you cook like this, it's sort of like a semi-basket. Another part of the genius ideas is that the magnets for the grill grate and also magnets for your air control vent, which means that you can set them wherever you want and they're not going to move. That gives you precise airflow, precise control over your temperature. The Nomad really is, in my opinion, built like a tank. It's solid, it's durable. And the multi-layer construction, referring to the cook boxer, the design with all these holes allow it to dissipate heat quite a bit. That prevents it from getting too hot and you can pretty much set it on just about any cooking surface. Now the top lid does get a little bit hot, but nowhere near the heat that you get on a normal lid on any other kind of grill. Again, these holes dissipate a lot of that heat. When I got the Nomad, it came with this box and inside this box are a couple of extra cool things that really help cook with it. Hexagon shaped briquettes. They're super dense, super hard, they burn hot, and they burn long. They were really easy to light with the included tumbleweeds that came in the box. I'm really starting to like to use tumbleweed 90% of the time with most of my fires. So is the Nomad really just a grill? Is it a grill and a smoker? Can it really do both? Can it bake too? As of today and at the time we're recording this video, I have two cooks on it. And of course, it's for me, it had to pass the carne asada test first. My first cook, I started out cooking some veggies, giving them a little char, getting them nice and cooked on the grill to make a really good salsa for the carne asada. After that, I laid in some Mianona sausage on some skewers and got that cooked up really good. I followed that with some chicken leg quarters and some corn on the cob. Then finally, I went ahead and dropped some fajita strips in there and there was still plenty of heat at the two hour mark to give them a nice sear and some really great color. A few days later, I cooked up a few really big one and a quarter inch ribeye steaks and a New York strip as well. And some more corn on the cob and our favorite grilled potato spears. I learned that closing the lid really slows that fire down enough that I was that I lost my hot sear on my steaks. They still turned out excellent, but I really do prefer a nice hot sear right up front when I'm cooking steaks. So it really wasn't the nomad's fault, it was more like user error on my part. The grill's still new to me. I should have left the top open a little bit longer before I closed it on the steaks. So can the Nomad smoke meats like ribs or chicken or some big beef ribs? Well, why don't y'all just stay tuned to find out because I haven't got that far yet. I've only got two cooks on it and I'm looking forward to doing a bunch more cooks on this grill. It says that the Nomad is great from the backyard to the back country. Well, I'm going to say that it is sturdy, tough, durable, rugged, and it's easy to carry around with that suitcase style handle. I think that the Nomad really is great for searing, baking, and smoking smaller cuts of meat at this point. Although I haven't got to the smoking part, I have no doubt that it'll perform the job. But hang on, before you go down the road, let's talk about a couple of other things that I noticed about the Nomad. There's a couple of little things that you probably need to be aware of. I don't know that I would call them cons, but there's just some things that you should be aware of. You'll see in the video that the dome shape is not real conducive to putting corn on the cob in there or short straight sausages. They just want to roll off to the side. But if you wanted to cook those, you could always flip the grate over. So, you know, you kind of have that option anyway. But I also realized the reason that they did that design, because I've had tons and tons of grills over the years, and I do know that over time, those 
grades. With the heat and time, they do tend to sag. So they just pretty much got ahead of the game and made it stronger. And it's never going to sag if you want to cook the other way, and you can. So cleanup's a little bit different because of those heat sink fins. You're going to have to have some kind of a little brush so you can kind of brush them out. You're going to have to pick it up, lay it over on its side to get all the ash out of it. So I'm going to recommend that you probably need to take a little shovel with you, dig a little hole, dump all those ashes and fire and lit coals in there, cover it up really well, make sure that fire is extinguished before you go down the road. Although it does seal really tight when you close the lid, I did notice that when you pick it up like this, some of the ashes and a little bit of the spark do tend to come out the bottom. Just something to be aware of. Of course, if you are staying long enough to let the fire completely burn out, it's not going to be an issue at all. So it's a little difficult to get those ashes out from in between the heat sinks, but I use a little brush and a little spatula. I'm used to using a small shop vac anyway with my pellet grill, so it's a non-issue for me here at home. Out on the road, it's a little bit different issue. And the other thing that you're gonna need to use a Nomad out on the road is a tailgate or a little table like the one I have here. So you may need to carry a table around because it doesn't have legs, but it wasn't designed to be cooked with legs on it anyway. It's designed to be used on tables, so Again, just be aware of that, that you're going to need something to put it on if you don't have a tailgate. You know, it really depends where you plan to go because most parks have benches and tables and things like that. So it may not be an issue, just really depending on where you're going. So who's the Nomad Grill really for? Is it for you? I'll say this. The Nomad is built like a tank. It's tough as heck, man. But it is light enough to travel with. It's for anybody who likes to barbecue on the go. I imagine it's really great for tailgating, camping at the beach, camping at the park, camping in the mountains. I think every RVer would get a lot of use out of this little cooker right here. But it's just as useful in the backyard too, and it doesn't take a lot of space to store either. Is the Nomad Grill for you? That's for you to decide. I hope this video helps you decide if it is for you. It's definitely tough, it's definitely portable, and it'll definitely get the job done. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Keep the smoke light, and make it work. Hold on, pup. We're gonna take care of you. Don't worry. We never leave you without anything to eat. We're out here in the backyard. We're pretending that we went camping or that we went to the park. It wouldn't be a camping trip unless you had an ice cold cerveza to go with your carne asada. We're gonna grill that, put some cheese on that, put some salsa on that. Before that, um, <laughs> I get lost. Like I always say, if the smoke's not blowing in your face, you're just not doing it right. <coughs> with a grill brush and with a foil ball. Ow, I'm hot. I touched that corner. It was hot, man. <laughs> All right, friend, let's get our sausage ready. <laughs> it's in the house.